Now, 7 weather with meteorologist Julie Durden. On this Tuesday morning, we're waking up to partly cloudy skies out there. We have plenty of cloud cover all associated with that stalled out frontal boundary over the Florida Straits this morning. Some of that cloud cover inching into portions of Miami. It looks as though Broward, you are waking up to mostly clear skies and a lot of the cloud cover staying over the Keys. That's where we're seeing the showers once again this morning because of the activity associated with that frontal boundary by the Florida Straits. Our friends throughout the Keys will be dealing with most of the rain once again again today. This morning they're waking up to some light to moderate rain over portions of Key West, even some lightning involved with the cells. So please be careful if your travels take you down to the lower keys. The roadways are going to be wet. Let's look at these temperatures. It's nice out there. Upper 70s in Pompano Beach, Fort Lauderdale and 76 degrees in Pembroke Pines with a northeast wind anywhere between 7 and 15 miles per hour. A bit breezy out there. 78 across the board, Miami, Miccosukee and Homestead with a northeast wind anywhere between 6 and 13 miles per hour and down by the Keys temperatures in the upper 70s in Key West and lower 80s in Marathon. So we have high pressure to the north of us and that's providing for the dry conditions and mostly clear skies you notice throughout the northern and central portions of the state. A little bit of cloud cover lingering here over southern portions of Miami-Dade and the Keys with those showers and thunderstorms popping up associated with that front. So we are expecting that front to lift just a bit more to the north and some of that moisture could inch into portions of Miami later on today. Otherwise with the dry air in place to the north of us it looks as though Broward should should stay mostly dry. We'll stay windy as we have high pressure to the north and that frontal boundary to the south that'll keep us under a very tight pressure gradient. So the breeze will be moving in from the northeast anywhere between 10 to 15 miles per hour and we'll keep that chance of southern showers in the forecast. Going to the tropics, tropical storm Philippe wind sustained at 65 miles per hour. It's moving to the west at 10 miles per hour as located 720 miles southeast of Bermuda. This system is expected to intensify to a category one hurricane by tomorrow. Then it will take an abrupt turn towards the east as upper level winds will keep the system away from the U.S. and basically it is going to stay an open water storm by the weekend. We should be able to say goodbye to it. Back home here, doing any boating or headed to the beach, there are advisories, small craft exercise caution and a risk of rip current because of how breezy it's going to be. The bay will be choppy. For you in the lower keys, a small craft exercise caution as well. Near shore waters will be choppy. Highs today in the upper 80s, right where they should be this time of year. Another gorgeous day with that chance of showers around, especially down by the keys. Those will be in the mid to upper 70s with a chance of a stray shower. Here's your seven on seven. We'll dry out throughout the middle part of the work week. Rain chances go back up by the weekend. They will be isolated as we go into the weekend and early next week. Have a great day.